Well, hello. Today I want to talk about my Stratocaster and how it's worn out after one year because it's a nitrocellulose finished Stratocaster from Mexico. It's called the Fender 50s Laker Stratocaster from the Classic Series. And yeah, I have it almost one year now and it starts to worn out at several places. So let's check it out. So let's start with the headstock. The headstock is in a, in a very good shape. I'm still in a very good shape. I'm happy, I'm really happy with this kind of, I don't know, system. You got this old vintage locking stuff here with the tuners from the 50 strats. This is old tuners, it's a nut. And I'm really happy with all that system because it works out well. Um, the guitar is always in tune, no matter what I'm doing to her. And I'm a Jeff Beck guy and a bit of Steve Vai into it and all that stuff. And I'm really hitting my tremolo hard from time to time. And it stays in tune, no matter what. So, but no worn up there, but we will come to worn parts. So let's have a closer look at the neck, because a lot of people were interested in the neck. And yeah, I was also interested in how the war, the neck worns out um, over one year. And as you see, it hasn't got this typical marks from playing, but I think one year is a, is too short for this thickness of the lacquer at the end of the day. But we, as you can see here, we have this typical spots here on the side there. And I have it a lot of places on the neck. I don't know why I don't play so rough, but we also have it here. You can see it. And over here on this side, there, and over here. So, and we got it down here, there. Side, here, here, yeah. That's the most worn of the neck. I don't know if you can see it. Um, the dots are worn, uh, starts to worn out. This is a bit darker, this one. Then this one, this is very light. It starts to losing the color. And they also have a crack down here in this one, but you can see it. It's a crack there, but None of this typical worn out things and I play a lot, a very, I play a lot with that guitar. So yeah, that was the neck. Let's go to the body. Yeah, let's start from this angle, I would say. And yeah, a bit of dirt down here. Yeah, um, I think you can see it very light around here. I try to capture it with the camera. There's a bit worn out here you can see it that it's not so glossy and yeah starts to worn out there you got it there you got it you can see it so that's a, that's the area where the light is Oops. where the light is down here you starts to worn out already there to down there so that's one of the main relics of the body so far. My arm lays here for sure quite often and yeah. I have several little dings and dongs like this one and this one and this one. But I also got bigger ones. Let's go to the other side. Um, up here for sh for example I got dings and dongs over here down here, this typical one. I don't know how all. I don't know how that happened. I don't even remember. I just. I don't realize it. But I have dings and dongs all over the body. I have worn parts down here. You can uh, maybe I can capture it with the light again. There you got it. This little area round the plate is very worn out already. So that's where the Laker starts to worn out for playing. Yeah. We have this little parts a lot. Maybe I should go with the light so you can see all the dings and dongs. 
and the Laker. I think that's very interesting. Yeah, also here. But the Lakers starts to finish already, so yeah, you can see it. That's how it looks. It looks very played after one year. So yeah, it also got a ding down here, bigger one. So I hit my guitar. <laughs> And yeah, it cracked out immediately and the Lakers very, very thin. Yeah. It looks sick, but it isn't. It's very thin. So yeah. That's the backside and the front. The bridge and everything looks normal. But I've cleaned it a lot. So yeah, I pay attention to it. So that are the main things that run out so far dings and dongs all over and yeah a lot of dings and dongs are worn out way faster and the laker reacts in a different way than normal guitars so it makes sense to buy you a guitar like this or a nitrocellulose guitar from fender and um, i know there are a lot of bad thoughts and negative meanings and all that said about this guitars and they all said yeah, it's not nitro today it's too sick and all of that but i'm really happy with all the results so yeah i bought it because i wanted to worn out over time and it's almost a year now and it looks great oh, especially this little crack here on the neck i really like that a lot there yeah, and all that so, yeah that's it from the video that's from it from the guitar i will post an update in six months again so see you there bye